I didn't get cheated on. Ding, ding, ding. I was correct because they are now dating. <laughs> It's Carly Reese, and today we are having a vlog. We are having a vlog. We are doing a vlog, <laughs> and I just want to say my day's been pretty bad. <laughs> what? Uh, can I not be honest? No, <laughs> you can. Well, actually, that's kind of rude to say. Basically, my friend <laughs> called me early in the morning, and I immediately shut my phone off. <laughs> And then I went back to bed, and then I woke up, then I tried on some of Carly's jean shorts, and it made me really insecure, just cause you know, everyone has their own insecurities, and we're going very, very soon, which we are very stoked for, so I need some shorts, cause I don't have many. So we went to PacSun and I got one pair and bathing suits. <laughs> and we are now at Chick-fil-A. I got that salad dough. She got them nuggets dough. So I guess we're doing like a eat with me instead because we have no plans for the rest of the day. So we can't really film like much of a vlog. <laughs> I posted on my Instagram story to ask some questions because I don't really have much to talk about, so I need some people to direct me on what to talk about. We have lots of stories that we want to tell that it's just not the right time or place to tell these stories. So maybe in like a few years I'll make a video with Josie and we'll tell maybe my mom or just you guys some crazy stories. We need to tell everyone. <laughs> we have lots of stories. Yeah. And they're actually pretty funny. Let's see some of your guys' deep, crazy questions. Have you ever gotten into a big fight with each other? <laughs> We've gotten into like big fights. Both times pretty much over a dude. The first time we got in a fight was because I was dating this kid. Actually, they know who it is. Aaron. Because remember, we went to his house. Mm -hmm. So I broke up with Aaron. And... Carly and Aaron were always really good friends, so they still were talking, like texting, and that's okay. But like, she would just sometimes like tell me stories, and it, I don't know why like I even got sad about it, but like, I basically told her one day, I was like, you need to choose, like him or me. And she's like, I'm not gonna choose. And then I went off on her, and then like a week later, I was like, I'm sorry. And then she was like, what the? F Josie was ready to be friends again after that week. And I was like, no. So I didn't talk to her for five months. <laughs> the second time was... Mutual. Pretty mutual. I don't know. It was kind of recently. Yeah. It was like over Christmas and stuff. I think we decided we're making this a series. Are you interested in someone right now? That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's. Um. Yes. But I will never share on YouTube because. Y'all tore apart their last relationship. Not that they tore it apart. It's just my last relationship got ruined because of YouTube. Well, not like because of it, but it was really a big part of it. I think it just made a lot of things worse. Made the breakup ten times worse. It was just like a mess. Not worth it. Anything you would go back and change from your life? Yes. No. I wish I would have never dated my... F your first ex. No. You're like second? I my third. Oh yeah, third I guess. Really? I wish I never, never... That ruined my life. That's crazy. I don't think personally I would go back and change anything I've ever done. Just because, I don't know. Obviously everyone goes through bad things and stuff like that but like if you would have changed something bad that happened to you would you be in this car eating this food right now how's life being a teenager in high school so far we don't really go to school <laughs> um, i think me and carly there's a good chance we will do online next year. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're already like going into our adulthood. <laughs> not like adulthood, but I just feel like we're so out of the high school life already. We're just not the people, like, we don't enjoy like socializing at school, like yeah. trying to, like, 
that was like my mood freshman year and then after that i just was done yeah then. i agree like not even my freshman year maybe like my sophomore year but no even then we just liked hanging out with like small groups of people mm -hmm. i don't know like there's just so many girls at our school that are so like meant to be in high school still mm -hmm. i agree with that and i just feel like i'm very out of the atmosphere yeah how old were you when you had your first kiss? You were 13. 13. I was 14. Anyway, I will tell partially the story. I was 14. Other was, <laughs> I don't think I should say that. Other was 18. <laughs> but I was almost 15, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Plus, I've always been more mature for my age. Yeah. I was at my friend's house over the summer, like two years ago, and um, yeah, I did like the person. They didn't really like me, probably because I was 14. <laughs> Makes sense. One thing about high school that has changed your view of life. People are not who they pretend to be. That is facts. Yeah, I have dealt with a lot of like drama and just stuff that really opens your eyes about people that you don't know when you're younger like, even yourself mm -hmm. you will end up doing a lot of things that you don't think you ever would have done sometimes it's good sometimes it's bad you know mm -hmm. you found yourself that's a really good question i think so i mean people say you don't find yourself until you're late 20s, but that's stupid. I don't no, think so. I found myself like two years ago. I think I found myself over this past summer slash fall. I really found myself, and like even to this day, I feel like every day you find more. I know. Yourself, I was about to though. say like I still like figure things out about myself. Honest truth on why you and Jaden broke up. Not that it's important anymore. It, we broke up like forever ago, so I feel like now it's not that important. But. Long story short, I broke up with him twice. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm telling people this. I, yeah, I did break up with him two different times, and both for the same reason. I don't know, there was just so many, like, not problems. We literally argued maybe one time, and I don't even think that was, like, arguing. So, like, I don't know. We didn't really fight ever. It was pretty much, like, a chilled, laid-back relationship. Are you raising your hand? But... I think that they didn't fight because Carly does not speak her mind ever and she just takes things. That is true. I never fight with people because I, not that I let people walk all over me, but like, even though I have my own opinion, sometimes in relationships I don't speak up. But anyways, um, I didn't get cheated on. I just didn't appreciate his involvement with other girls that I personally had a problem with. And... Ding, ding, ding. I was correct because they are now dating. <laughs> but, like, I'm not mad. I really don't care. And I'm really glad they are dating because... They're really good for each other. They are other. very good for each other. And I think that he gets a lot from her that I wouldn't have given to him. Is Josie your soulmate? We're twin flames. Twin flames are, like, soulmates. But there's, like, a difference. Like, I think soulmate is with, like, a love interest. What was your lowest point? sophomore year my lowest point is actually i've had my lowest point was probably like somewhere in the summer of 2019 and also some point recently like over time i guess mine was sophomore year from the winter to spring people keep saying what's the craziest thing you've ever done i literally don't know yeah i got arrested one time <laughs> she did <laughs> It was kind of recently. It was like a month I wasn't after. there. I wasn't yeah, there. That was right when me and Carly began. It wasn't school. even like her fault at all. It wasn't. It was someone else, but she just happened to be there. I wanted to be a good person, and I got in trouble for it. Basically, me and my friends went to hang out with these freshman college friends that I knew. And one of the friends wanted to have this girl over and so she came to the dorms and then little did any of us know she left her friends in the car what? 
and they had fallen asleep in the car so the windows were all fogged up and they were parked in reserve parking and then a police officer drove by and then he made them call her friend and she was freaking out because she didn't want to go down there alone. So then I was like, I guess I'll go with you. I literally didn't think I would get in trouble and then they put me in the back of the cop car and drove me to the station. <laughs> So, <laughs> that's so funny. And he told me if I ever came back, he would send me to jail. Okay, so the camera just turned off. Oh my god, it's like on fire. It's burning. But yeah, so DM Josie on Instagram because she'll have a better chance of replying. Not that I don't reply, it's just I do get if a you lot DM of DMs. Me, I'll see it. And it's really hard for me to look at them all. So, DM Josie what you want to name this series. We will make a series on my channel. Um Instagram's Josie Star. Instagram is at Josie Star. I thought there was an underscore. Yeah, Josie underscore. Josie Stark. underscore Stark. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you don't even want this to be a series, let us know. Like and subscribe. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>